guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and this is my Birchbox Play Ipsy video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Birchbox. Magic inside. First thing in here is from Divines. This is a shampoo, love smoothing shampoo. I've gotten several things from Divines actually. I believe that they cater more to like thick, coarse, frizzy, curly hair, which isn't really my hair. I have kind of thick, coarse-ish hair, but it, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I have actually decided to put this in my giveaway pile along with the conditioner because I have a shampoo and conditioner that I love and um, it's not this. So I'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile. If you are new to my channel, what I do is anything I think I won't use or I have duplicates of, I put it in a pile and when the pile gets big enough, I do a giveaway and I give this stuff back to you guys. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on those giveaways. Okay, the next thing in here is from number four. This is a smoothing balm. At first, I thought that I would hate this, but I do like number four products and they always smell really nice. They have a really like, musky scent to them that I like. <laughs> it kind of smells manly actually. You're supposed to put it in your wet hair before you blow dry it, but I feel like you can also use it on dry hair. Um, now, if I am going to curl my hair, there's no way I could use this because it weighs my hair down. But if I'm just doing like straight hair or like yesterday, I just kind of put it in my bangs because they were a little frizzy and out of control and it definitely smoothed them without looking super greasy, which was nice. I liked it and it smells good. So I like this. The next thing in here, also going in my giveaway pile, is from Super Goop. This is just the everyday sunscreen. It has SPF 50 in it. I really do like Super Goop products. They have a lot of different options for sunscreen. I have like a spray on one. I've used this one before. I used to swear by their CC cream, although lately I've switched to the It Cosmetic CC cream. The color just suits me a little bit better. They have all kinds of good stuff. And like I said, I have used this before and it works well. So since I don't need it, I will put it in my giveaway pile. This is what I have on my lips today. This is from the Beauty Crop. This is Girl Power Liquid Lipstick in I'm a Boss. And the color, as you can see, is a deep red and it is a beautiful shade. I really love the shade of this. It is very pigmented, so you really just need like one layer and you're good to go. Let me just swatch this for you on my hand. It's, it's super pigmented. It's such a pretty color. It is a bit dry. Granted, all liquid lipsticks like this are definitely drying, but some are worse than others. This one feels a bit stiff, a bit dry. Not too bad though, because you can do a thin layer so it's not like cement on your lips. I find that with liquid lipsticks, especially in dark colors like this, reds in particular, I have a hard time getting a full color without more than one application. So I really appreciate that this, you don't need to pile it on in order to get full coverage. So I am happy with this. I think that this is nice. Okay, this was actually my sample choice. This is from This Works and it is the Deep Sleep pillow spray. So you're supposed to spray this on your pillow when you go to sleep and it's basically just essential oils. It's got lavender and chamomile and I think like vetiver or whatever in there and it just, it smells nice. You know, it has a calming, soothing scent to it and you spray it on your pillow and it's supposed to help you sleep. So I was skeptical. But that's kind of why I wanted it because I do have a hard time falling asleep at night. My mind is doing a thousand miles an hour and I just, I can't sleep even though I'm exhausted. So I have used this a couple of times and like last night I'm laying in bed keeping my poor husband awake because I can't sleep, you know, and I'm just chatting. And I was like, oh, I forgot my pillow spray. So I sprayed that on my pillow and I swear I went right to sleep. So I don't know if it's one of those, you know, like Pavlov's dog, you know, you smell lavender and you're like, oh, it's time to sleep or what. But I swear it helps me just be like, oh, it helps my mind and body just be like, oh, it's time to sleep now. I don't know, maybe it's magic. Maybe it's just all in my head, but whatever, it works. And I swear to you that this helps me sleep. It helps me just shut down and actually go to sleep. Okay, and then the last thing in here, I haven't actually used this yet. Maybe I'll use it right now. Okay, so I just got a cup of almond milk. Um, what I normally use is the Aloha brand. And I do really like that. I like the chocolate one, but I put it in smoothies or protein shakes. So we'll see how this one is. This one is Tahitian vanilla and berry infusion. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a taste, shall we? Ugh. Well, it hasn't fully mixed. <laughs> I just got a big chunk. 
that's what the look was, but the flavor is actually really good. So I think that I would probably still put this in a smoothie versus just drinking it with milk, but you could certainly do it this way or with water, whatever you wanna mix it with. It does have a nice flavor and it has all kinds of good ingredients. It has kind of that aftertaste of a fake sweetener. I'll probably stick with my Aloha, <laughs> but it was nice to try. Okay, and that is it for Birchbox. Okay, now for Ipsy, look at this bag. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this little ticket bag. That is the cutest. The opening isn't very big, but that's okay because it's so freaking cute. I have this primer. This is No Problem Primer from Touch In Soul. It is very silicone-y, but it's nice. It's very thin. It's fine if you like this sort of thing. Generally speaking, I don't like silicone primers because they clog my pores and break me out. It also has a little bit of a scent to it. I know tons of people use silicone primers all the time and they love them and swear by them and their skin looks beautiful. Mm, yeah. yeah. Good for them. Okay, this is Aloe Soothing Gel from Hanalei. I think I got a lip scrub from Hanalei that was really nice. This soothing gel is not something that I would wear on a regular basis because I don't like gel moisturizers. However, if I had a sunburn or wanted a little extra love somewhere, I mean, I could see myself using this because, you know, it's got aloe in it, which is nice, and it smells like freshly cut cucumbers. It has a really nice fresh scent to it. I don't know, maybe, I think, maybe I would use this more on my body than my face. It smells really good. <laughs> it's very thin too. It's not like a thick pasty gel. It's, it's very thin and soaks right in. Maybe if you have oily skin, this would be better. Okay, the next thing in here is from Hikari. This is another cream pigment. I got one of these, I think in the last box, maybe it was the box before that, and it was this very pretty bronzy gold color. This one is called Honeydew, and it is a shimmery pale pink color. This one is not as creamy as the other one, and I wonder if it just dried out or something. It still is a beautiful color, but it feels more like a powder than a cream. The best way to apply this is with your finger. With a brush, I barely get anything. With my finger, I get full pigment. So I have it on my eyes right now, just like right there. Let's see, I probably put some on. And you can see, it's lovely. I absolutely adore the color. I love shimmery pale pinks like this, and I wish that it did have more of a cream consistency, but as it is, it's still workable, as long as you use your finger. I'm telling you, for whatever reason, your finger is the best application for this guy. This is from ColourPop. This is one of their cream gel liners, and this is in the color Best O. I have this on my upper eye, kind of smudged out a little bit. The color is like a, like a, dark brown, but it has red in it. So it's almost like a burgundy or a mahogany, something like that, you know, where it's, it's definitely like a reddish brown. It's a really interesting color and smudged out, it looks really pretty, especially if you have like green or blue eyes or something, that red in there will really contrast and make your eyes pop. So that's, so it is kind of a fun, interesting color. The formula on these is great. They're very creamy, they blend out easily, they stay put. I really do like these. My one issue with them is that the actual liner in there tends to break really easily. I have two of these now and both times they arrived with the thing like fully out right there. So you can you can put it back in, but they break so easily. And sometimes, you know, I'll be applying it and then it'll kind of sink down in there because I don't know, it adjusts itself and I don't know. That is my only issue with these because other than that, they're really pretty. The other color that I have is, is Get Paid, which is this really lovely gold shade. And I have that on my lower line right now. And this one to me feels so much creamier than Best O. And I don't know if it's really just the color that's different. You know, if the Best O one is older and more dried out, that tends to happen to me a lot with Ipsy products. You know, I love the stuff they send, but I feel like a lot of times they're sending me old products and they're, they're not what they should be. You know what I mean? So that's just, you know, I'm just saying, if you got one of these in your Ipsy and it's all like dry and crumbly, that's not how they normally are. I'm just saying. And then the last thing in my Ipsy is another Luxie brush. 
I love brushes. I will happily accept whatever brushes you send me. And Luxie brushes are fantastic. They are so soft. They are wonderful to use. I love Luxie and I love getting brushes and I don't have this one. It is a beautiful periwinkle colored handle. I think all of my other ones have the pink handle. So this is kind of fun. Um, this one is almost the exact size and shape of the highlighter one that I got recently. However, this one has a pinched ferrule. So it is um, more of, you know, kind of flat on this side it's like oval shaped instead of round the highlighter one is definitely round this is nice now it says that this is a precision foundation brush I did use this with foundation and I don't like it for foundation at all however I do like it for like a loose powder or even a pressed powder you know if you're just doing like a light application like you can use it you know under your eyes or something I like the shape of it it's small enough to get in smaller areas and it's tapered so you know like around your nose that kind of a thing that is what I have been using it for and I really like it for that again Lexi brushes are always so soft and so lovely so I'm happy to have that that is my ipsy and now finally my play box so this month's bag is the best things in life are me <laughs> I love it very narcissistic okay so the first thing in here is from Peter Thomas Roth this is water drench hyaluronic cloud cream it's very thin and watery feeling like you put Put it on your skin and it feels like silicone and water I almost at first I thought it might be one of those ones that actually turns into water as you start rubbing it in but it doesn't it's just incredibly thin and it feels like you're rubbing water on your face however it applies very much like a silicone and your face will feel that super silky soft feel I didn't find it to be super hydrating it was fine but it wasn't anything that I am in love with. Plus, you know, I've already said I don't really like silicone things, so no, uh, I don't know. This I have been wanting to try forever. This is from Philosophy, this is the Purity Cleanser. It's one of those things that a ton of people will absolutely swear by, and then there's a ton of people who are like, I don't see it. For me, it's fine, but it is very strongly perfumed. I was kind of surprised at just how strongly perfumed it is, and it smells like perfume. It doesn't smell like essential oils or whatever. It smells like perfume. It doesn't smell bad, but I don't like perfumey things on my face. It does work well, though. I thought that it worked nicely. It helped remove excess makeup, and it didn't strip my face. It doesn't leave any sort of residue on your skin, so I can see why people like this. I do think that it works well. It is fairly gentle, but it gets the job done, so I like it, other than the scent. For frick's sake. Do you know how many samples of this I have gotten over the years? I mean, just from like everywhere. Everybody always gives out this stupid Smashbox primer. This has been around forever. I mean, clearly, because I've gotten a million samples of this. I always put this in my pile. It's going in my giveaway pile. I'm sure one of you would love to have it. It is a good primer if you like silicone primers. I don't, and I hate that. And I am like angry that I always get that sample. Smashbox has a ton of different primers. I would like to get a different one for once. Okay, all right, let me go. The next thing in here is from Makeup Forever. This is amazing. This is an eyeliner. This is the Aqua Eye Pencil XL, and this is just a black one. And this is so freaking pigmented. That is one little stripe, you guys. Foomp. So pigmented. I have it in my waterline today. This is like my new favorite for my waterline because it goes on so easily. It's so creamy, and holy cow, it's pigmented, and it stays put all day long in my waterline. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. This is from Sephora, the Sephora brand, and this is the waterproof eye makeup remover. It's great. I absolutely love this. It is definitely oil-based, so, you know, I'm just, you know, if you don't like that sort of thing, it's got oil in it, and it will leave your face feeling kind of greasy, but it works really, really well, and it's gentle. It didn't irritate or sting my eyes or anything like that. I used it to take off my liquid lipstick as well, and it worked fabulous. So this is fantastic. I love this. I will absolutely use that up. And then the last thing in here, a Miu Miu perfume that... <coughs> that I don't like at all. I don't know, it's just not my thing. I don't like it. So anyway, whatever. That'll go in my giveaway pile as well. So that is it. That completes my Birchbox Ipsy Play video. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!